Hey guys, it's all Ron Danny, and today I'm going to show you how, how to make a very cheap bridge design in West Point Bridge Design in 2014. Now, the reason I'm making this tutorial is because in my school, they made all the engineering students make the cheapest bridge that they possibly could. And mine came in like top five, so I figured that it was YouTube worthy. Now, the kid that got first place made it like, I think it was below 160,000 and I tried and I tried and I simply couldn't but this is the best one that I, I can come up with and I feel like it's pretty good so let's check it out so first off you go to create new bridge design you press OK go to next next and where it says deck elevation you go to the lowest possible choice which is zero meters you leave the rest of them as defaults in the next page all you change is the deck material, you make it high strength concrete where it says 0 0.15 meters thick, you leave loading as it is, and you click next, next, <clears throat> you type in your name, I'm just going to put in that, it doesn't really matter, and then you click finish. Now before we start adding the steel bars or whatever, uh, the material that we're going to use, um, we have to add joints. And these joints are going to go as follows. All the joints are going to go between the joints that are already made on the bottom. So <clears throat> the first one is going to go at 2, right in the middle. The second one's going to go at 4. The third one's going to go at 5. The fifth one's going to, fourth one's going to go at 4. And then the fifth one is going to go at 2. Excuse me. Um, I messed up there. The fifth one's going to go at 2. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about when I say these numbers, it's the numbers that are right here on the left-hand corner. And you can trace where the joints go by simply tracing the blue line that goes as my mouse is going right there. Now, <clears throat> the material that we're going to be using to make this bridge is high-strength, low-alloy steel. Now, all of the bars that we're going to use are going to be hollow tubes except the ones that run across like this to make the base of the bridge those are going to be solid bars so these are going to be solid solid high strength low low alloy steel bars that measure 50 times 50 i don't know what unit that is but that's what it says <clears throat> the the bars that connect the joints that we just made are going to be 160 and they're going to be hollow tubes And the bars in the middle that connect the joints that were already existing and the ones that we made and create uh, triangles are going to be 90. And you connect them like so. <clears throat> now at this point, your bridge should add up to $168,327.43. If it doesn't, then you might want to look back and see if you did something wrong. Or if you feel like you did and you did something wrong, leave a comment in the box, in the comment box, and I'll be able to help you. Now let's run the animation, see how it works. As you can see, the um, the truck seems like it's it's barely making its way across, but that's actually <clears throat> because we have the exaggeration off. If we turn it off, we can see that the bridge is fairly stable. It's lighting up, but it's good. Um, so that's about it. Uh, that's the cheapest bridge I was able to make. Leave in the comment box if you were able to make it any cheaper than mine uh, with my design or with another design and don't forget to like comment favorite and subscribe guys um, leave suggestions for a video that I should make and thanks for watching see you guys in the next video peace out